buenos días. Feliz viernes. <laughs> Feliz viernes, Nancy. Hola, Nancy. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. So this is an awesome film. I feel like this film is made quite made quite a circle because I mean it premiered just a couple of miles away from here during Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival in June. And then you went on to Venezuela for you know to introduce it. And then here we are again. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Been, it's been a great uh homecoming since before we even I even started thinking about the movie all the way until our world premiere at La Leaf till now. It's it's funny how life uh the circle of life always keeps on surprising us. Surprising you. us, yeah. Hey, that's what the sun does, right? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can start with you, Miguel Angel. Now this this project has your name all over, you know, as a writer, as a director producer editor i mean how does it feel to be just talking about your project your, your latest baby and as a sandwich maker also just just not 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 on the credits yes i did make great sandwiches during set uh <laughs> no it's 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 really a dream come true you know it's really a dream come true um uh yes my, my, i i I, we, I wore a lot of hats on this one but I couldn't couldn't have done it without the amazing team, uh, both in the states and and here. Um, it's really a, a a team effort. They say it takes a village to do a film, and it's a, and and to do a film is, is is a miracle. And this was a series of small miracles that happened one after the other. And I think that um, the 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 only thing that I can take credit for really when you co it comes down to it is, is putting together a fantastic team, a fantastic uh, team of people that have surrounded me throughout the years and, and convincing them in some way to go on this crazy adventure, uh, convincing Maritza Carvajal to go down with me uh, to Venezuela and produce this film for me um, and really take on this, 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 this uh, gargantuan challenge um, as well as the crew down there. Uh, from Jose Duque to Will Romero to Hector Manrique, really um, telling them, hey, I have this idea for this film. And I think we can do it in 18 days, 16 in Acarigua, two in Caracas. And, and once it was done, then convincing another set of people, Juan Carlos Rodriguez, Alvar Carretero, and convincing them and showing them the film and saying, I think that we have something special here. And if only it's a good story that I think people should see. And so far, the reactions have been wonderful, and and we hope that more people get to see it because it's a story about hope and about never giving up on your dreams. That's right. And Carlos Manuel, you get to play Leo, who he's an example in this in this uh, story where sometimes you have to dim your shine because life happens. Correct, correct, and I'm sure um, I, I connected to this character from the from the. From the beginning, um, all those all those moments in our lives where we where we feel we have to 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 bend our arm in order to help our brother or our sister or our, or our kids, um, it's uh, it, it it was an amazing um, opportunity to play Leo. Um, I always I thank Miguel all, all the time for that. Um, to play it in my country and to 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 have the opportunity to to have this this brother this little kid who who has never acted before uh really deaf and 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 who who threw himself into that acting pond and 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 blew us all away with the, with, with with his craft i mean it, it it has been all around an amazing experience and i'm so so proud of being here and to being able to to show it to all of you guys here and 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 have be, be, being so proud of the of uh, representing my country with this film it's it's incredible and you did a little extra work taking sign language in advance yes yes we had a uh, i had approximately 3 months of training before we started filming with with two uh, amazing women from a foundation down there who dedicate they dedicate themselves to 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 the uh, deaf community, to the young deaf community, and who who came on board with us with the film from from day one, um, they 
came to my house three times a week to te to 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 to, te to teach me and to to make it look real and authentic and not not you know theatrical. Um, of course, uh, uh, Angelo, the uh, the deaf actor, and I also started to you know to to uh, the, the develop this rapport and this chemistry, this brotherly chemistry between us. Yeah, uh, uh, um, prior to filming, I took him to dinner. I took him to my house. I took I introduced him to my family, and he did the same thing. And we we went we went we we make jokes about each other and all that uh, typical brotherly thing that 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 you have with 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 your family members. And um, so by the time we started shooting, you know you could see you could see that that chemistry and that brotherly. Uh, relationship there can we talk about the scene where it takes place where there's there's alex there's leo there's yoli and they're pretty much taking off the masks and saying everything you know he's so like you think he's oblivious of what's going on but yet he has lots of truth to say well <laughs> that was actually the first scene that i that i thought of uh that it was the kernel the idea that that inspired me to write the movie um when i when I, uh, I i thought about that scene it was really what it was really what took me through through the the characters and that's that's actually the night that i called carlos and i told him i have this idea of this scene where this younger deaf this deaf young man gives his older brother the voice that he never had the courage to have that he never had the courage to use because he had it. He always had it. Leo always has the voice. And that's the whole point, right? It's like we have these gifts, these opportunities, this voice, whatever that is. Do we have the courage to use them? You know, because we all have that. So then that scene became a really powerful in my head. The, mo the moment that, that it, I guess it was a little bit like a moment of inception in my head where this, this idea came through and then I was obsessed with it and I was obsessed with that scene. And I knew that if we could uh, nail that scene uh, between the three of them, um, that we had a we had a powerful story, a powerful movie. I was like, finally, because I'm not a fan of Yolanda. <laughs> <laughs> not not a lot of people are, but and and let me tell you, Gracie Mena did a phenomenal job with that role, and we worked a lot on it to make her uh, real and to make that part of emotional and intelligent and. Uh, emotional and, and and emotional abuse really um to make it real to make it um something that people have seen before and um not make it a caricature and um and she really knocked it out of the park and she is wonderful and so lovely and so so lovely that people come up to her that know her and go i hated yolanda so much i love you but i hated her so much you know, so she did a wonderful job with that. Can we talk about the uh, some of the side characters, which I loved Bambi. <laughs> that scene with Leo and when the water came, it was hilarious. I loved it. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, it was, I mean, we had too much fun. This is something that happens every single day in our country, especially in the suburbs very deep down in, 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 in remote parts of the country, in remote towns of the country, water is very scarce. It comes by some from time to time and people, you know, have to fill up big things, big chugs of water to 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 have water for several days. Um so we thought let's do that. I mean I think uh, Miguel uh, thought that that could be a great scene and, and and it was we found this beautiful this beautiful uh, little towny church that worked perfectly. Uh, Richard Clark, who plays the priest, was was amazing. It was, you know, it was. It, 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 I think it's just like this com comedic part of the movie where uh, where I'm trying to uh, recruit my my uh, bandmates again one by one, and 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 I realize that one of my best friends is now a priest. I haven't seen him in years. So I think it came out incredibly. It came out incredibly. People in the theater laugh like crazy with that scene all the time. 
it's it's just amazing it was spot on because it's something that happens like carlos said like every day in venezuela so it's always like a, a sense of like oh god like the water right now or the electricity right now so to put that that spin on it people laugh at it because they see themselves almost every day in that situation and at a certain point you just have to laugh about it right and you have to navigate that world and and richard did a great job with the character we talked a lot about about the priest and what kind of priest we want him to be um i went to a jesuit school my whole life so i know priests like this that curse and that are you know human beings uh but at the same time they're they're men of god and and uh, I also know uh, uh, nuns, like women of women of God uh, from uh, Venezuela as well. They're very much like that, that are just hardcore. And when things need to get done, they get them done. Um, and then afterwards, you know, they go and they do a baptism or a confession or or something like that. And, and it was a wonderful, wonderful scene to play between the both of them. I feel like that was the scene that made us learn that Leo has like, this fun side because we, from the beginning to that scene it's like okay it's just work kind of miserable living life work it's no you're absolutely right and uh i think he's also he's also very happy to see his past friends uh, a member of a, of uh, members of the band that he loves so much and the and i think he's starting to revisit all that past and it's, he's it's starting to to uh, move something inside of him, you know, mm -hmm. he's starting to smile. He's starting to mm -hmm. sing again. He's starting to to rehearse a song after such a long time. You know, he's in this. When you see him rehearse in that little uh, um, a ranchito there, mm -hmm. uh, you you see him almost all the time smiling mm -hmm. from 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 there. So he's so happy. He's a uh, he's um as you said he's. He starts, he starts to change in a positive way in terms of how he feels and the emotions he has for, for the craft. Now to start wrapping up, both of you, what message do you hope viewers take away from watching this film? Because I saw a lot of them. Um, well, um, really, uh, the main message is that there is no um, limit. limit to what you can do. Uh, there's no limit to, there's nothing stopping you to achieve your dream, your dreams, that the only limitations that we have are in our mind. Uh, that's the juxtaposition of these two characters. Here's one with an amazing talent, six foot four, uh, <laughs> blue eyes, good looking, all the talent in the world. And and that really his, he stops himself from from becoming everything, the man that he he can become. And here's the uh, the other brother who should be the one saying, look at me, I'm a victim of society because of my disability, because of so many things. And yet he is the bigger man in, in essence. He's the dreamer. He's the one that says, no, there are no limits. And just because I'm deaf, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be a writer. I'm going to study music. I'm going to read a million books and I'm going to become the best version of myself that I can in order to achieve my dreams. There are no limits to what you can do. The only thing stopping you is yourself. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the exact same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only disability is in your mind. Uh, you can do whatever you want. And uh, when you put your, your mind and your your focus on it, you can achieve it. Um, and with the help of your friends and family supporting you also. Well, I agree with you. And we definitely want to live life and not live it in misery. That was in the in the, in the film as well. Yeah. That's important. 100%. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Felicidades. Me encantó. I loved it. And um, thank you, Nancy. Luck. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.